Hey everybody! Is anybody hungry? Come on in to the Duck in a Pot Show! Welcome back to duckinapot.com. Today we're making a French pastry called a galette. Normally used for desserts, we're going to make a savory pastry. We're going to fill the galette pastry with heirloom tomatoes, bacon, and a little cheese. You'll love it. We're making enough for five 10 inch galettes. We keep everything cold in the freezer for 15 minutes. We start off with some butter, then we add cider vinegar to ice water, put that in the freezer, keep all your utensils in the freezer, even your bowl. Then after 15 minutes, add flour, salt, sugar, and pepper. Whisk that lightly, and then add your butter. Then use a pastry blender to cut the butter into the dough until it gets into about pea-sized pieces. We touch the dough as little as possible with our hands. Then add some Parmesan cheese, mix that in, and slowly add ice water into the dough, mixing as you go. Once the dough is formed, roll it into four mounds, and then let it set in the refrigerator for at least 15 minutes to overnight. Now let's get ready. Start with cutting heirloom tomatoes into eighth inch slices. Take a baking sheet, add a paper towel, salt it, add the slices of tomato, then salt them, and then cover them with paper again. That will take some of the water out of the tomatoes so the galette will not be soggy. Now, take your galette that you've had cooling in the refrigerator, add flour to your board, and then roll your galette to about 14 inch rounds. And then to get a perfectly round cut, take a large pizza tin, put it on top, and use a sharp knife to cut around the edges. Next, we can fold our dough into quarters. Now we can place the dough on a pan that's been covered with Pam, cooking oil, and flour. Now let's add a little bit of cheese. And then we're gonna cover with some bacon. And then our heirloom tomatoes. We add some cherry tomatoes, orange tomatoes to top. Now pleat the dough over the sides about an inch, inch and a half. It doesn't have to be perfect. It'll look great any way you do it. There you go, that's your galette. Now, let's take an egg wash and just coat the pastry with the egg. And then we're going to place it into the oven at 375 degrees for 40 minutes. We're gonna check it after 20 minutes and if it's getting too brown, we'll cover it with some tin foil for the remaining 20 minutes. And that's it, that's your galette. When you take it out of the oven, brush it with some olive oil to give it that nice shiny crust. And that's it, that's the duck in a pot BLT Galette. Remember, you can find the complete recipe on duckinapot.com. Now let's check in with the ducks and see how they liked it. What do you have? I didn't even know how to eat these. What do you have? I've got a, uh, um, what is it, Craig? It's a bacon and uh, tomato baguette. Baguette, okay. Baguette. <laughs> Horny, you want to tell Craig what it is? Uh, what is it? It's a bacon, uh, where's my notes? <laughs> Whatever it is, let me try it. I'm gonna, and how do you eat it? Do you just like cut into it? Cut, why don't you cut it in half? Okay. It's uh, The pastry is a French pastry called a galette. 
The Galette. Galette. Yeah, Galette. the Galette. I used to subscribe to the Galette. Okay. <laughs> um, so this is a bacon and tomato Galette. Jeez. Um, some Jeez, people say it may look like a pizza, but we're going to take it nice and slow here. Oh man. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Head Duck Larry Moretti said this may be his favorite so far. I might agree. What do you like about it? I like that the the the, the dough and the flavors all kind of mixed together. There's there's there the um, the, the tomatoes are, are 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 juicy still after being heated up. The bacon's crispy. The the dough is 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 smooth and moist, and it makes for a nice combination. I'm going to shut up and eat the rest. Mmm, mmm. Got some cool green stuff over the top. What are those? Gives it a little little bit of a uh, organic flavor. Um, yeah, those are that's micro arugula. Do not leave home without making this first. Mmm. This is really good. Surprise! I didn't think it'd be this good. I thought it was going to be tomato overdose, you know, but <laughs> no, it turned out good. <laughs>